Hey guys, welcome along to a new video. We're going to start a Main Street walk from here at Las Palmeras and we're going to walk down the Main Street towards the Ipidino area. Yeah, we've got quite a few updates for you, quite a few stories to tell as we walk down the street together. Yeah, we haven't made a video for, it must be about two weeks now. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. But we've both been busy, we've been making music, David's been travelling. Yeah, I've uh, just come back from holiday. I went to Lisbon in Portugal, yeah. which was uh, super cool. Met some uni friends I haven't seen for more than three years, so um, that was really nice. Yeah. Also, a big update is that the masks have been dropped indoors, which I know for a lot of you guys watching from like the UK, they've been dropped for a while, so it's probably not such a big deal. But when you come here on holiday and when you live here, it's so nice to just go into a shop without a mask on. And actually, later on this video, I do that, I go into a shop without a mask and you can see the joy in my face. <laughs> That's amazing because the exact day that the mask got dropped was the uh, the day that I went to Portugal. Yep. And I literally arrived in Portugal, I was like, right, let's go to the shop and get some stuff for the Airbnb. And I went, oh, it's amazing, so what's the rules of masks here? And they're like, oh yeah, you have to wear a mask in the shop. I was like, oh, brilliant. No way, so in Portugal you still Just, have to do it? Yeah, you still have to wear, in Portugal you still have to wear a mask inside in shops and stuff. So I thought I got away with that. Yeah. I was looking forward to the, like, the 19th of April so much. And then it was, yeah, exactly the same day I landed in Portugal and, and that rule was back in place for me. But there we go. Yeah, it's what it is. It's, it's strange now, isn't it, when you, when you visit different parts of the world, how the rules change and, like, you see people come here and, well, now it's not a problem with the mask being dropped, but when they were in place, a lot of people from England would come and they'd just walk into a shop without a mask and get, like, shouted at by the person in the shop. Yeah, what <laughs> I did do, actually, was um, going through Fortaventura Airport, I didn't need to wear a mask, so anywhere mm. on the airport, I didn't need to wear a mask, which was cool. Same with the, I went, I went via Madrid, same in Madrid Airport, same in Portugal's airport. The only place I had to wear a mask was actually on the plane. Okay. Yeah, now you need to wear masks on public transport and in hospitals and there's one other place. Like, uh, like care, care homes, homes yeah. and stuff, which yeah. I do not think we have any of those in Fortaventura. If Probably we do, do, I don't know about them. Yeah, it's not something you come on holiday and visit. No. But I'm not surprised you haven't got a gig in one of those yet. <laughs> <laughs> that would be your next gig, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're also talking about travelling restrictions and stuff. I'm, and, and I'm not saying this is for everywhere, but just in my experience from Portugal last week, um, not a single COVID document was checked wow. when I was travelling. So I went via Madrid. I went from here to Madrid and then Madrid to Lisbon. And not a single COVID document was checked on the way there or on the way back. Yeah, and we've had a few friends visit for Ventura from England and they say that they didn't get checked for anything yeah. either. Absolutely no checks whatsoever, but don't take that as written because I think it changes for every single traveller. Yeah, you don't want to get caught out. Like, don't travel without them. Yeah. Because, like, yeah, it'd be, be a bit of a nightmare, wouldn't exactly, it? Exactly, yeah. So I had everything with me and I was just very surprised not to not to show anything. Yeah, it's quite crazy. So the current vibe at the minute in Fort Ventura, it's a little bit, like, there's there's not as many people as before right now. It's, no. it's dropped a little bit, but... And the weather's a bit crazy. This time of year, like we say, it can be up and down, but it's been pretty good. It's been not bad. As you can see, the day-to-day, -day, sunny day. You can hear the wind a little bit, windy, but that's, that's what you get when you come to Fort Ventura. Uh, yeah, that's Fort Ventura vibes for you. Yeah. So have you gone into the shop yet? I um, haven't No, that's right attention. at the end, actually. Is that at the end? It's right, the clickbait okay. to keep people watching. Oh, okay, nice one, yeah. nice. Looking forward to that. Yeah. I was looking forward to so much. You actually see like my face. Like I'm just I can't yeah. stop smiling. Yeah. It's weird because like I actually said to my sister, I said to Kate that uh it's quite like liberating to go into a shop. And then she was like, it kind of is, but then it also quickly feels very normal. Like you now it just feels like normal going to shop without a mask and like mm -hmm. it's crazy how quickly you adapt to these things. Like the first thing you're gonna like, Oh my god, I'm gonna shop without a mask and you feel like a you feel like a rebel. Yeah. You feel like a criminal. And <laughs> but uh yeah, you feel like very quickly is normal, which is a good thing, obviously. Mm, yeah, of course, think, of course. I think most people are pretty sick of the masks. Yeah, I think so, so as well. Yeah. Hopefully, um, tourism picks up, because I still feel like there's a lot of people that don't want to travel or book a holiday because of COVID. I still feel like that's the reason that, mm. obviously, we're saying it's quite dead at the moment, like looking around the streets. This was filmed at probably, what, one, two o'clock in the afternoon? Yeah. Uh, going down the main street, and there's really, like, really not a lot of people around for, for, what it, for what we remember it being like before. Well, that's also, though, because it's a nice day and a lot of people at the beach. Like, that's normal for the main street in the afternoon. Mm. Mm. It's true. It's yeah. just always fluctuating, Fort Ventura. Like, one week it's rammed, the next week it's not. Mm. I literally had this conversation with a couple of people that were in the bar last night. They're saying, oh, like, is it, is it a busy one tonight? And I, I, I literally cannot tell you. Like, there's yeah. no night out. Um, in the bar where we know we're going to be busy. Like Fridays, we're probably going to be busy. Yeah. Saturdays are even hit and miss. Like the rest of the week is completely hit and miss. You can go in on a Monday and expect it to be really quiet mm. and end up having the busiest night of the week. It's yeah. just you can't predict these things anymore. It's completely unpredictable. Nothing makes sense. And like the thing with like the Canary Islands is like there's no like weekend. It's like every day is just 
Saturday, more or less. Mm, like yeah. a- any day could be really busy. Yeah. Monday could be a busy night. Wednesday could be a busy night. It exactly. Just, like you say, it just changes. Yeah. It's not like, you know, most places that aren't tourist places are just busy on like Friday, Saturdays, mm. especially at night time. But yeah, here it's just changing all the time. It is. I tell you what, going back quickly to um, the fact that I've just gone to Portugal, right? Mm. Portugal, lovely, lovely city. Uh, Lisbon was really nice. Uh, and I'm not going to slam Lisbon here. And I had a really great time with my friends and stuff. But I have realised that since being in Fuerteventura, every holiday I go on now, yeah, I'm slightly underwhelmed by holidays these days. Like, I, I just, I, I kind of look forward to the journey back to Fuerteventura <laughs> than, than the rest of the holiday. Yeah. It's probably a bad thing to say, but it's just so showing how, I mean, I'm, I'm understanding how lucky I am to, to live in a place like this. Yeah. That is a thing, like, I've noticed back when I lived in England, obviously, like, we both come from Brighton, it's a really nice place, but I think just because, obviously, like, we're from there and we take it for granted, like, when we used to go on holiday anywhere, I remember I was, like, so gutted to come back. And like you say, coming here, it's like, you get back and you're so happy to be back. But then again, like, you do need a break from here sometimes, living here, because it's a small place. I'm sure you feel, like, refreshed from going away. Oh, yeah, like, you kind of, when you're here all year round, you kind of forget how lucky you are to be yeah. here. And, and when you go away for even one night in Lanzarote, like we did yeah. a couple of weeks ago, you're kind of like, oh, yeah, we're really lucky to be here. Yeah, like, yeah Lanzarote was a strange one, wasn't it? It was strange. Um, we went, to, I don't know if we mentioned much about it, because we, yeah, we haven't uploaded, actually, since we went, have we? Um, we, we, went, we spent one night in Puerto del Carmen, and... Um, yeah, what's your opinions on Puerto del Carmen? It was strange because it felt like very, very touristy. It didn't feel like it had much Spanish culture. Mm. It was like pure tourism. Yeah. Like pure, 100% tourism. And it really made me appreciate here because I'm sure a lot of people love it there and would love it there more than here. But for me, like my taste, just like you said, as soon as we came back here, I was like, God, we're so lucky to live here. Yeah. Because uh, I know it felt... <laughs> felt strange I don't offend anyone but no I don't want to offend anyone either and Lanzarote is a really really like pretty island that's actually um, like, just sorry cause just to like give some Lanzarote some props like we went there before went to the caves mm. and when you're going on like the bus we're going on the bus through Lanzarote it's so beautiful and yeah that was green, the bus like, from Playa Blanca to Puerto del Carmen yeah it is beautiful um, Lanzarote had, is beautiful we had dinner in Puerto Calero as well and yeah. that's beautiful the harbour there is absolutely beautiful we love it there um, but yeah Puerto del Carmen that that particular resort for us, we just felt like it was a bit too touristy. Yeah, and it's not that. I mean, I like. I'm happy being around tourists. It, it just the vibe was weird. I just didn't. It wasn't for me. It wasn't. No. I don't think it it kind of either. felt like being in England, but <laughs> but nice. but being. It was the hot weather and that was it. it was that the hot weather, but it, it was like the hot weather in England is beautiful. Yeah, it's true. I mean, the hot weather in England is beautiful because you don't expect to have the hot weather. Yeah. Like, you're in a place where you expect the hot weather, but then the people around you, the food around you, the marketing around you yeah. <laughs> made me feel like I was just in England. You, it, it, I, don't know. I don't know if I'm being too harsh on it there, but... I don't think it's bad to be, like, like England hot. That sounds good. I think, like, for me, it was just... It felt a bit, like, rough around the edges mm. in, like, a bad way, though. <laughs> like tourism is obviously great. Like that, we both work w- in tourism w- yeah. with our jobs here, singing and working the bar, doing karaoke and stuff here. It's, uh, we work with tourism, and tourism is what makes our job happen. You know, it's what gives us a, a livelihood here. But what I like about here as well is it's a good mixture. I think what the tourists that come here, what you guys like about this place as well is that it's not just purely tourism that we that we felt it was in Lanzarote. Th- this place has definitely got a good mixture of locals and tourists together. Yeah. I think there are different parts of Lanzarote that are much more, you know, like, more authentic. Mm. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We did just go to one of the We went to the, hot, the hottest yeah. hot spot for, for that thing. That's what you're yeah. going there for. So. Yeah, exactly. But no, nice to get away. And again, we appreciate how great Coralejo is and Fort Ventura. So, um, yeah, a good reason to go. But yeah, Puerto Calero which is just next to Puerto Carmen, was really beautiful. Mm. We'd actually been there before, a couple of years ago, and uh, both times were just amazing. So if you do go to Lanzarote, definitely recommend there, Puerto Calero. Yeah. We went to a little place called... Uh, what's it called again? Natural there? Nadamas. Oh, yeah. And, uh, or they call it Only Natural as well. Like yeah. Version. And uh, that's really beautiful restaurant. Yeah, really cool. we had dinner there this time, and when we went a couple of years ago, we had breakfast there. Um, really, really nice place. 
live music there as well now for dinner. But yeah. um, I, I really loved it for breakfast. I mean, the dinner was mm. great as well, but for breakfast, it was such a nice... It's like, uh, on like, I think it must be, I think it's on a Sunday morning. There was a market around the harbour. Yeah. So it's a really nice market, a really beautiful harbour. And then you get a nice, like, natural breakfast there. It was just, uh, yeah, amazing. Yeah. So we're coming towards the end of the main street. And you see that Ipadino on the right? I'm going to be going in there. Oh, is it that one that you That's went in? That's the one I'm going to, Oh, yeah. okay, I see now. I imagined it was the other one further up. Don't know why I imagined that. I wanted to look forward to it for the end of the video. Oh, you know that, I think I, I, I told you this the other day, but you know the yoghurt shop, Smoy, that moved from the top of the main street? Yeah. That's going to move down here on oh, the right-hand yeah. side to what Chikai used to be. Cool. Uh, so that office has been empty. Uh, so there's Flicks where I work up the top floor there. And then down to the bottom left here used to be the old Chica office. That is now going to become the new Smoy, which is, uh, you loved that, didn't you? Mate, I ate so much of that. They have like a small size, which is like for one person. They have like a medium, which is like to share. And they have like a giant one, which is like a family one. Mm. And I just say that. Yeah, like the right same there. with the pizzas, the family yeah. size pizzas. If there is a family size option, I'll take it. <laughs> As long as it's edible, you know. Anything you eat, I just... One day when you have a family, what are you going to do? You're going to have to... Get them one and I'll have one. Yeah, fair. Yeah. But then that still might be too much for the rest of the family because you'll not be chipping in on their one. Nah, it's fine. I'll chip on theirs one as well. Oh, I'll, right, I'll okay, double. Fair. Here I am. You can see, like, the. I'm trying not to smile. The you're joy. Also, I'm almost a bit baffled. You're like also that, terrified because I know walking in here, whenever you walk in without a mask or you don't wash your hands going in here, Mate, they you, shout. Get, you get shouted at they straight shout at you away. Time. So, uh, yeah, I can see you're elated, actually. I'm elated. My eyes crossed. I was that happy. Go and might get demonetized yeah, for music. Yeah, demonetized for music. We'll uh, cut that. Oh, I was saying click there and click there for the next videos. And we oh, just that's, missed it. Um, oh, yeah, you've God. absolutely fluffed that. Wow. <laughs> Anyway, that's round off of this video. <laughs> yeah, it's been emotional. Um, thank you for watching. If you do like this video, then make sure you click the like button. That really helps us out. And uh, yeah, we put two videos on the screen right now. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.